What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and today I'm going to show you how to connect your phone to this 4K monitor and display it either in landscape or portrait mode. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using an Android phone like this. This is a Samsung S9 phone that has a Type-C connection. And we're going to use a Type-C to Type-C USB connection. And the reason why is because it sends audio, video, and power all throughout this one cable, keeping your phone fully charged, which is fantastic. So I'll plug in the Type-C USB connection right here. And then this Inokin 4K monitor is fantastic because it has this amazing mount that you could switch it to portrait mode or landscape mode. Also has a gravity sensor in the settings that you can turn on that automatically detects what orientation you have the screen in and automatically switches either portrait mode or landscape mode, which is fantastic. And it has auto detection input, which when you plug in any device, it automatically detects that um, device and displays it on the screen. Super convenient. And it has so many inputs too. So let's go ahead and we're gonna spin this, we'll tilt it back and then spin this in portrait mode like that. And then plug in this Type-C connection. So it has a Type-C display port connection, two HDMI port connections, and two USB-A ports. Um, I think they're 3.0, and then a USB-B port. And it has an audio 3.5 connection. So let's go ahead and plug in the Type-C connection right here, and then spin this back, put it in landscape mode. All right, and turn on the monitor. When the light's off, the monitor's off. When the light is white, that means it's turning on. And then when it's blue, it's in sleep mode. So right now we have a connection. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna unplug it right now and show you how fast the response time is. Make sure everything's connected properly. Plug it in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight seconds to detect. So keep that in mind. All right, so now we're gonna put it in landscape mode. So let's go ahead and open up an app. This is an app I got off of the internet. It's a Pimble Arcade APK mod app that has all the Williams and Bally Stern Gottlieb tables right here. So this right now is, let's put it in landscape mode right here. So now it's in landscape mode. You can see all the tables. All right, there's a lot of tables there. Getaway, Jackpot, High Speed, Monster Bash, Medieval Madness, No Fear, Star Trek by Stern, Star Trek by Williams, Terminator 2, White Water, so many cool tables. All right, so starting this way. All right, now it's in portrait mode. So you can either turn it this way or this way. Either way it works. So you want to tilt it back and then spin it. You want to tilt it back so it doesn't hit the bottom. And then it should take a couple seconds, like five seconds to switch. There we go. How cool is that? This monitor is amazing. And now let's go ahead and see if we can switch it the other way. All right. And so it should automatically detect this way. There we go. I don't want to make sure that wires are not pulling. I don't think they are. No, it's good. Yeah, so either way works. Fantastic, right? So I like it like this, and I'll show you why. So I like to turn it this way. And the reason why is because the buttons are right here on the bottom. And they're easy to get to. So the phone is being charged right now. Yeah, the phone's at 100%, see? And we're going to be using the At Games Legends gamepad. And the reason why is because it works with Pimble Arcade and other Pimble apps. So you press and hold that button. It's easy to pair. You just press and hold this button and scan on your Android phone and then connect it. Super easy. 
and it comes with the Legends Core. Um, I'll leave a website. Um, I'll leave links to all the websites below in the video description below. And so let's go ahead and choose. Let's choose Adam's family. Okay. So this is select A select B's back. Um, these LB and RB buttons are flipper buttons, but you can switch them out for the triggers in the options setting. And if you're playing a pinball table, you go to options and you can change that format. Uh, start is to pause the game. Uh, right joystick is to launch the ball. Sometimes some games or some pinball tables, you have to use right trigger to launch or you hit A to launch. All right, so oh, it backed me out. I must have hit too many buttons. All right, let's go hit A to select. And my tables, 100 tables. It's a lot. And A, and A to start. Now, the left joystick is for nudging. So if you want to nudge forward, you flick forward. If you nudge left, you know, nudges left. The whole table shakes. Uh, you can choose your own different color balls, too. If you hit options right here on the upper right hand corner, you can select pro mode and add like three, four, five, six balls, right? So it's just like the real pinball machine where you have access to the system settings or game settings and you can adjust all these cool features on, in the pinball game. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on operator mode and that's going to give me, instead of three ball game, a six ball game. Hit B to go back, and B to go back again. And let's choose, I don't choose any ball, I don't care. All right, so you hold down, flip forward like that. And this is a four flipper game too, which is pretty cool. This is a fantastic pinball table. Now even, like it, not only that, it looks fantastic, right? Considering it's like four or five year old pinball app game, the physics are still amazing. And this is what it looks like in landscape mode. So this pinball app is a lot of fun. The monitor is a fantastic monitor and this controller works great for Android devices as well as Legends uh, products as well. So this would be really cool. You could do a lot with this. You can make a virtual pinball machine table. Um, I don't know, you could do a lot with this. This is basically limited to your imagination. Also, let me actually um, check something out. So you go to options, go to controls. Let's set it to vibration right here. And I'm not sure if this, this has a haptic feedback. It has a shaker in here, a rumble pack, but, and it is updated. So. I'm not sure if this is going to um, shake or not during the gameplay, but there is an option in Pinball Arcade to do that. Let's see if it works. No, it's not. I don't feel anything vibrating, shaking right here. At least we tried. But all the buttons and features work besides um, the feedback feature. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in any of these products, check out the links in the video description below. And subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. And if you know anyone that might be interested in this setup, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out.